Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK and in this video you will learn how to calculate ratio in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this data wherein I have the employee name, number of calls and number of orders or you can say the number of sales. Now we have to calculate the ratio for calls and orders or calls or sales. This question has been asked by one of my friends so I would like to answer here. You can calculate the percentage simply C2 divided by V2 which is the orders divided by sales. You can calculate the percentage. You can show in the percentage. Maximum time we display the data in percentage. This is the decimal number. This is also the same number if you will see but only difference is we have changed the percentage format here. Here we have not changed. You can change the format from home then the number format. From here you can take the percentage this one or you can take the number this one. Alright, sometimes it happens when in your organization your boss or your manager says okay just display me data in ratio. The ratio is basically here we have displayed 18 by 5. If I will put here let's say 6 call and the 2 orders then the ratio you can see has been changed to 3 by 1 which means on every 3 calls we are making 1 order right so this is the 3 by 1 if I will change it 9 and here I will put let's say 3 then again the ratio will remain same alright friends so if it is required to calculate the ratio in excel I will explain you how can you do that so here if you will see I have used this formula first of all what we have to do, we have to find out the greatest common divisor between two numbers. What is the greatest common divisor? Greatest common divisor is the number Why? which number both the calls and sales can be divided and there should not be any remainder. So let me show you. So here I am taking a number let's say 10 and then here I am taking another number 15. What should be the greatest common divisor here? The greatest common divisor should be 5 because 10 can be divided by the 5 and there will not be any remainder. If I will divide 15 by the 5 then it will return 3. It will be completely divided. If I will put here let's say 30 again it can be 5. But 5 is not the greatest common divisor. Now in this case the greatest common divisor will be 10. Right, so the biggest number by which we can divide the both number. So to calculate the greatest common divisor in the Excel there is a formula available which is GCD. It is called greatest common divisor and you can simply select both the number press enter it will give you the greatest common divisor. If I will put here let's say 5 then 5 and 30 the greatest common divisor is 5 if I will put here 60 then the greatest common divisor is 30 for both alright friends so to calculate the ratio what we will do we will divide each number so let's say here we want to calculate the ratio between 15 and 45 then the GCD which is greatest common divisor is 15 so what we will do we will divide each number by the GCD divide this by 15 and simply divide this by 15. Now here what we will do, we will use first number and sign and then the colon sign in inverted comma and then the second number. So this will be our ratio. If you want to put some space between these two, you can put the space also. Alright, so our ratio is 1 by 3. Here if we will change the number, let's say 65, then the ratio will be 3, 13. Alright. The same formula we have used here, you can see this is the B2, the first value, then we are calculating the GCD between B2 and C2 and then we have put the colon sign, then C2 divided by GCD and then C2 divided by GCD of these two. Alright friends, so it is calculating the ratio. That is how you can calculate the ratio in Microsoft Excel. If you want to create the ratio function, so here if you will see I have created a ratio function. Simply I can put here a ratio 
and the ratio should be available in my function list then i'll select the first value then the second value press enter it should give me the ratio directly i don't want to put the gcd and any other number then you can create the user defined function in microsoft excel using bba so let me show you the user defined function which i have created i'm going to the developer tab visual basic here this is the ratio function which i have created i have taken here input as first number as long second number is long and the output will come in the string now here i have used the application dot volatile and then i have taken dim gcd as long i have taken here gcd as variable and i have put the gcd equal to application dot worksheet function then i have used the gcd worksheet function and i am taking first number here and the second number so first of all i am calculating the gcd the same thing what I have done in the Excel I am doing here in the VBA. The ratio will be first number divided by GCD, then the column sign and the second number divided by GCD. So it is giving me the ratio here. If you have the ratio in this format and you want to convert this into percentage like we have converted here, then how can you do that? So first the Excel formula which I have used here you can see this is the Excel formula let me explain you this Excel formula how I have done it. So what we will do first of all we will take the first number and the second number then we will take the second number divide by first number and whatever will be written that will be our percentage how we can achieve that using the Excel formula. So first of all I have used the substitute function and then I have selected this range. I want to remove any space is available there. So putting a space here in inverted comma, then blank and just close the bracket. So this is actually a ratio number. All right, so we have removed if any space is available. So now here we will take the first number. So first number we will use the left formula left. Then we will use the tax. Tax will be this. And here we will use the find formula. So we will find the colon sign. Where is the colon sign? So I'll use the find. And I'll find text will take the colon. Then within this text. And then just close the bracket. And press enter. So it is giving me the 18. But it is giving me the colon sign also. So what I will do. In the find I'll use minus 1. So it is giving me only 18. Now I will find the next number. You can use the right formula also. But here what I will do. I will use the same formula. Copy this formula. And I will remove the minus 1 from here. I will tell you what I am trying to do. So in this formula. I will just replace this number with blank. If I will use here substitute formula. And then within this text. I'll take old text this one new text if I will take blank then it will return me the 5 because from this text I have replaced 18 colon then it will give me the only last number all right so it is giving me the last number then I can simply use the last number divide by the first number now it will give me the percentage so these all the formula I have used in one formula all right so first of all here we have taken the h2 divided by f2 in place of h2 you can take this formula in place of f2 you can take the this formula all right so now we can remove the h2 and f2 from here then still our result will be available all right now here we have used the this column G and column E. So G and E. Now we have to remove the G and E. So let me copy this formula first and this is on E2. So wherever E2 is available, E2 is available here, E2 is available here and E2 is available here. I'll paste that formula. Alright, now I'll take this formula i'll just simply copy this formula and this formula is also depend on e2 so first of all what i will do i'll copy this formula and make the changes here in place of e2 i'll take this value and press enter now we can remove the e2 from here okay this is the formula of g2 so i'll copy this formula and here in this formula wherever g2 is available g2 is available here just paste that formula and now g2 is not available anywhere just press enter 
if i will remove this i'll still get my result so this is my formula i can paste this formula here i can simply fill this formula down i can change the format so you can use the excel formula also the next is you can create your user defined function so let me go to the developer tab visual basic and the module tool i have created a simple user defined function ratio to percentage ratio as a string i'm taking input and then here application dot volatile ratio we are taking vva dot replace and in the ratio first of all we are replacing the space if there is any space available then it will replace with the blank and we are creating a array here bva dot split so we are splitting this ratio by this column so if we will split this ratio it will return two values in this array here what we have done a ratio to percent is equal to the second value which will be array one index will start from zeros the first one will be the array zero then second is the array one so it will give me the ratio percentage the same thing here i have done if i will use ratio to percentage formula i'll take the ratio as input it will give me the percentage you can see here all right so friends that is how you can calculate the ratio in microsoft excel i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching